Many computers pack all of their components up in a very small enclosure that doesn't take up much desk space. They also have the added benefits of low power consumption and can even be portable. Don't let their small size fool you. Some of these mini computers are extremely powerful. But with so many choices out there, it's not easy to figure out which one is best. In this video, we're breaking down the best three mini computers on the market this year based on price, performance, features, and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at mini computers in every price range. So whether you're looking for a great gaming mini computer or one that can be used as a workstation, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which mini computer will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So for the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start by looking at the Apple Mac Mini, our choice for best overall mini computer. The Apple Mac Mini is a brilliantly designed small form factor computer that packs in some impressive specs and features. It's not cheap, but it's priced very competitively at around $800. It's one of the best overall mini computers you can buy. The Apple Mac Mini is very powerful. It's essentially a miniature Mac Pro. Taking a look at the design, Apple hasn't made an effort to reinvent the wheel. To the eye, it's still the same old Mac Mini in the familiar frame, but with a new and attractive space gray finish. It's essentially the same weight with the same dimensions, but one of the most underrated things about the Mac Mini is all the ports on the back side. There's a lot of I.O. to work with for such a small computer. You get four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports, two full-sized USB-A ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, gigabit Ethernet, and a headphone jack. On board, you'll get a quad-core Intel Core i3 processor, 8GB of RAM, and an Intel UHD Graphics 630. For storage, there's an ultra-fast 256GB SSD, and because the Mac Mini has Apple's T2 security chip, which also acts as a coprocessor, you get a huge boost in SSD performance for reading and writing of files. This mini computer is perfect if you want a cost-effective way to use Mac OS without feeling forced into a pricey iMac or MacBook Pro. It's a great mini computer for editing videos for YouTube, to record and edit podcasts, and even to edit large raw photo files. However, the Mac Mini is terrible for gaming. If you're looking for a mini computer that can handle gaming, then check out the Intel Hades Canyon NUC Mini PC coming up next. The Mac Mini gives you enough power and versatility while providing a clean and uncluttered place to work and browse the web. You could keep all your Mac apps synced in the cloud, which allows you to move from a laptop to a home desktop with ease. The Mac Mini is a versatile mini computer that can not only tackle creative tasks, but can also be used as a server, an entertainment console, or even a DJ booth. If you're looking for a powerful mini computer that is still affordably priced, then the Mac Mini is one of the best overall you'll find. Now we'll be taking a look at the Intel Hades Canyon NUC Mini PC, our choice for best mini computer for gaming. Of all the gaming-capable mini PCs out there, most are pretty compromised when it comes to performance. But at around $1,350, the Intel Hades Canyon NUC Mini PC bucks that trend and is one of the best mini computers targeted especially for gamers. Powered by Intel's powerful new KB Lake G hybrid processor, the Hades Canyon NUC manages to squeeze out the same amount of power and performance you'd get with an entry-level gaming tower, from a chassis that's about the size of a book. It's got impressive power and customizable RGB lighting, making it an enticing mini-computer option for gamers. Design-wise, the Hades Canyon NUC is a small, black brick that won't take up a lot of room on your desktop, and can easily fit in a bag if you want to take it with you. It looks unassuming, until you turn it on. Once powered, it displays a striking skull-shaped glow out of its top panel. Using the included LED Manager app, you can customize both the skull and the eyes to glow any color you like, as well as set the lights to breathe in and out or pulsate quickly. You can also tweak the colors of the computer's front-facing lights and set them to correspond with specific things, such as whether your power plug or ethernet cord is connected. Despite its small size, the Hades Canyon NUC is absolutely loaded with ports that give you plenty of options for connecting your monitors, keyboard, mouse, and other peripherals. The Intel Hades Canyon NUC's big calling card is its Intel Core i7 with Radeon RX Vega M processor, which combines a traditional Intel CPU with discrete AMD graphics, all within a single chip. This design gives you desktop gaming-grade performance within a mobile-sized CPU, and puts out performance comparable to what you'd get out of an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti-powered gaming tower, 
allowing it to run VR applications and play graphically demanding games. It has two DDR4 SODIMM slots, supporting up to 32GB of 2400MHz RAM, and two M2 slots for storage drives. The Hades Canyon NUC gives you great mid-range gaming performance and respectable VR capabilities within an absolutely tiny chassis. The customizable RGB lighting is a nice added touch, and the system's plethora of ports make it ideal for command centers and living rooms alike. If you're a mini PC enthusiast who doesn't mind splurging on a bare-bones system, you'll find some killer performance tucked away inside this unassuming mini computer. Last, we'll be looking at the HP Z2 Mini G4, our choice for best mini computer workstation. At around $1,350, the HP Z2 Mini G4 mini computer is a small wonder that packs workstation class parts and performance into a compact chassis that can stow anywhere. Putting serious computing power into a mini computer isn't easy. CPUs, graphics chips, and other components count on the support of large cooling fans and heat sinks that just won't fit into a small square box like the HP Z2 Mini G4. HP can't get around that law of physics, but it is able to help hot air escape more easily by including four vents, one at each corner of the Z2's chassis. And what the design lacks in elegance, it makes up for in practicality. You can lay the Z2 Mini flat on your desk or stand it upright so that it takes up hardly any space beside a monitor. There's a lock slot on the back to keep it secure, and a Visa bracket built into the base of the unit so you can mount the entire unit on the back of a monitor if you want to keep it out of sight altogether. Under the hood, you'll find an Intel Xeon processor and an NVIDIA Quadro GPU. The installed components qualify the Z2 Mini G4 as a bona fide workstation for architectural firms, research labs, and other potential users who need immense amounts of extremely stable computing power at their disposal. If you're a creative interested in the Z2 Mini G4 as a platform to run CAD software, it comes with ISV certifications for more than 20 such apps, including AutoCAD, SolidWorks, and Revit. Another key distinction is support for error-correcting code memory, which the Z2 Mini G4 also supports and is a requirement for many financial modeling and laboratory analysis software tools. The Z2 Mini G4's port selection is plentiful, giving you everything you might need to connect your external devices, including three DisplayPort 1.2 outputs for connecting the latest external displays, as well as a serial port to facilitate connections with legacy devices. Up to six displays can be connected directly to the DisplayPort outputs, plus additional daisy chain displays also make it a great option for brokerage houses or CCTV monitoring stations. The Z2 Mini G4 even comes bundled with a budget keyboard and mouse, which gets you started. This is a mini computer with the performance of a far larger workstation, complete with Xeon processor options and ISV certifications, making it one of the best mini computer workstations, and you'd be hard pressed to beat it. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.